Chrome Away has been around for eight years, so the longevity itself shows that the team is not in it for a quick buck. When we started, I was actually wondering, will there be a market for uh, for blockchain? So before we, I jumped ship and sort of worked part time as consultant, part time to fund the company, etc. So I wasn't there to get uh, a quick buck. We are here because we like the vision, we like the technology, and it's uh, extremely funny and interesting to to shape up the future. The token Chroma CHR is used to compensate block producing nodes and to pay transaction fees. As a difference from the other networks, it's the dApps that pay those fees on Chromia, not the users. And as such, the dApps can set their own policies whether and how they will ask the users for compensation. So adjustable fees subscription models, freemium model, subsidized model, all is possible with Chromia. Chromia isn't proof of stake, yet staking is present to make sure the providers have stake in the ecosystem. The token release schedule is very clear on their website, showing that the most aggressive unlock happened in 2020 and for the upcoming two years it will continue happening mildly. There is also a burning implemented with some portion of the tokens intended for deletion to be sent to charities. As CoinGecko shows, the current market cap is about 110 million. Let's briefly see uh, about the price action of the token. As usually, I always give you a little bit of the technical analysis of the token of the ecosystem that I have been reviewing. And this is gonna be no difference and I always give you two areas which are not a financial advice, it's just my personal opinion where I think that the token could be a very good buy and also where I think it could be a very good sell. Excellent! buy area would be around 7.5 cents it's actually a level which was untested ever since we left that that level in march we left it aggressively there and also is the top of the little DeFi summer of 2020 so this would be actually the green buy area if the price actually goes there as for the sell area, as you can see, there is quite a lot of space left. So somewhere here, I would design the sell area. And if we want to see where exactly the sell, the sell area should be, then we have to go to daily. And on daily, we actually see quite few uh, closes of the red candles and also closes of the green candles uh, at the borders of my red area. So that's why I would give uh, somewhere around 1.2 dollars. I would give you the area where where I think the sell will be very good because I think lots of people might take profits in the area. 